common causes of hip pain. Pain can arise from the hip joint itself or from the structures around the hip joint. The hip joint is a weight-bearing joint. It consists of a ball and socket. Pain can be anterior, in the groin, lateral, posterior, or far posterior. Anterior hip pain usually deep in the groin. It can result from arthritis of the hip. The treatment is usually a conservative treatment with therapy, medication, and injection, surgical treatment in late cases by a total hip replacement. The second condition is labral tear, usually diagnosed by an MRI arthrogram, and the treatment is done by therapy, medication, and injection. Surgery is the best, and it can be done by debridement or repair of the lesion, usually arthroscopically. A stress fracture, usually diagnosed by MRI. Early diagnosis is important before the fracture displays. Usually require fixation or replacement if it is late. A vascular necrosis, due to death of a segment of the bone when the blood supply of the femoral head is interrupted. The treatment is usually by decompression or stem cell injection or drilling if it is early. Early cases is diagnosed by MRI. Severe cases is diagnosed by x-rays and the treatment is usually a total hip replacement. Intermediate cases are usually treated by vascularized fibular graft or other conditions. Lateral hip pain is usually due to trochanteric bursitis. The treatment is usually conservative with therapy, anti-inflammatory medication and injection. Surgical treatment is extremely rare with excision of the bursa. Posterior hip pain occurs due to piriformis syndrome. Treatment is usually physiotherapy, stretching, anti-inflammatory medication, injection. Surgery is extremely rare uh, with severe cases that does not improve with conservative treatment. We must note that piriformis syndrome irritates the sciatic nerve. Far posterior hip pain, usually due to SI joint and lower spine conditions. The SI joint problems can only be diagnosed by injection of the SI joint with improvement in the pain level of the patient. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.